Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review video on the Wildflower case. I have seen these cases everywhere. They've been around for forever and boy do I love and hate them. Oh my gosh, like I absolutely love this case. This is probably one of the cutest cases I've ever had. I love this print so much. So, okay. If you don't want to watch a video, like I always say this, I think I was wearing the same shirt in my Stanley review. If you don't want to watch a video and you don't have time for this, cause like who has time to watch like long form content anymore? Um, I would say it's definitely worth it. Their price point is amazing and their designs are so cute. I wish that like they sold AirPod. Well, I know that they sell AirPod cases, but they don't sell like my model of AirPod case, I don't think and like the prints, but overall for what you get, your money's worth and the quality and the design, A plus. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna go into like nitpicky things that like as someone who has never had an iPhone case from Wildflower, this is just my personal review, but I absolutely love their product. And overall, if you're thinking about getting their case, get it because it's cute. But let's get into my opinions and just like little things about the case that I'm not a big fan of. If you've been watching my videos, my vlogs, I have been going back and forth about this case. And when I first got it, I was like in love. I was like, oh my God, this is the cutest print. You guys know the bows are in right now. They're The bow era is bowing. <laughs> like, let's just say that. Um, I used to dance, so basically, having the little ballet shoes, the ballet point shoes, and then the bows, amazing too. Like, I just, I don't know. I saw Matilda Jerf had this case, um, Karen Swan, I love her. I've been watching KK and Baby J for years. She had one, you guys know she can influence me. And then Maggie McDonald had this case. Um, who else? I don't know, like there's so, so many people that I like follow and stuff had this case and I'm like, oh my God, I'll just give it a try. I put the case on my phone and I am not gonna lie, <laughs> coming from other phone cases, I had a case to buy mirror case, you guys know. I also had I'm a big Apple silicone case girly, like I think they're so comfortable in the hand and they're really clean and sleek. Um, but this one, oh my God. It, it's a big adjustment. And if I'm being completely honest, this is the most uncomfortable like case I think I've ever had in my hand because the sides go up so much. So you see this black lip. Um, so like the edges are like pointy almost. You know what I mean? Like they like kind of like can like dig into your hand. So it, when I put this like really up close like this, you can see it like it comes to like a point. And I don't know if I got like a defected model of the case or something. Cause like I have friends and like my cousin's girlfriend, she has a case like this and like the black borders on hers, they just feel like smoother, I guess. Like they're more rounded, but this is like a blunt, like point, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely like something to get used to. But also too, you can easily like catch your phone too if it's falling. So that's another positive about the design. But still, I'm gonna tell you the lip here, if you're comparing it, the black part lifts a lot higher up, it seems like on the back than the front. So it's almost like it feels reversed. Like this is deeper than the front of the phone. So it's almost like your phone's going like this and it's like kind of weird. Another thing too, this is similar to Casetify. I don't know if you can clearly tell, you guys know I go like really in depth with the, with the reviews, but the buttons have openings. So that's not sealed off. Like the titanium, you can see the titanium. Yeah, yeah, here you go. You can definitely see the titanium on the phone, like the actual phone. The case is not sealed off. So if you want like button protection, it is protected really well, but like, little breadcrumbs and stuff can get in there. And if you're like really OCD like me, you'll like take it out and clean it, like deep clean. Um, the bottom here too, it's similar. It's like definitely a lot more clear that they're open and stuff. And you can see too, what I was describing to you guys, the back is like a lot further up than the front. See, this is the front of the phone. This is the back of the phone. 
Um, I get why, because you want to protect the camera and stuff, but again, it's super weird. Like, I've never really experienced that with other iPhone cases. So that's definitely like an interesting bit. Um, if you guys watched my what I got for Christmas video, I got a lot of Apple products and like an OctoBuddy and stuff. And let me just say like this case isn't really like designed for that, I guess, because it's not like MagSafe. Okay, the MagSafe will work on this because it'll go through the plastic, but like it doesn't like fully, it's not 100% like if you were using a case with MagSafe. So that's just like one other kind of negative. And honestly, before I got all that, it didn't matter. Cause like I didn't have MagSafe. I didn't have a MagSafe wallet. I didn't have a MagSafe charger. So like, if you don't have that, that doesn't really matter. So you can just factor that out when you're thinking about getting a wildflower case, but also to just like keep that in mind if you use those products a lot. I do love the little detail here that says wildflower. I think that's really cute. And I love the little detail here with the little wildflower emblem. I have this habit of like always touching it, but I will say you do get used to how the phone feels in your hand. But if you upgraded like I did for the iPhone 15 to have like a thinner phone, maybe don't buy this case because it does make your phone feel big and chunky. Like I was thinking if the, you could take, if I could take this print and slap it on an Apple silicone case, that would be like the perfect world. That would be like my ideal case. But anyway, I just like wanted to like point things out. If you're, if you're wondering about a wildflower case, I just wanted to like make this video so you guys know. Do I regret buying this? Absolutely not. Like I love the creators of wildflower. I think their company is great and what they stand for and just everything like that. So I was totally cool with like supporting their business because I think they're awesome. But like, oh my gosh, it's just so uncomfortable. <laughs> At first, when I first got it, I was like, oh, no, no, no. I cannot have this on my phone. And then I was like, but I love the most. And it was like near Christmas time. So I'm like, okay, I'll just get used to it. And even my cousin's girlfriend, like I was saying, she was like, oh, you'll get used to it and stuff. And I have gotten used to it, but I will say it's an adjustment. It is a major adjustment. If you're thinking about getting one, get one, try it out. Um, they're Again, they're a great price point for what you're getting. Just be wary that if you're not used to the design, the design is not comfortable in the hand at first, but it's just, it, it will make the sides big and clunky. Like, I don't like it. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't like it. Um, and then I don't know, on this forum for like iPhones that I'm a part of, it's Sofia Camarada's Discord group. They were talking about like wildflower cases and like how they are like big and clunky in your hands or like, I mentioned something about like, the borders and stuff and then someone replied well you'll be thanking them when you drop your phone and like crack it you'll be thanking them when you drop your phone and it's like protected and knock on wood or knock on something else like i have not dropped my iphone like i'm not hard on my iphones like that's why i can rock a silicone case because like i don't now i do drop it sometimes and i have dropped the apple silicone case and it's gotten scuffed I mean, on a typical day-to-day -day basis, like, I don't have that problem. So, I mean, I don't know if they're trying to compete with Otterbox or whatnot, but I'm just going to say these black borders are kind of killing me. Anyway, um, I hope this video was, like, somewhat informative for you guys. Um, I wanted to make this because I would like to know a little bit more about it and... Yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.